Hey YouTube. So I just want to really thank you guys from the bottom of my apparently very small black heart for viewing all of my channels and watching my videos, subscribing and commenting even. I love to hear from you guys, that's why I started up a YouTube channel and it makes me feel great hearing from you even if it's a lot of hate mail, whatever. So thanks very much. Now the majority of you, if you want, you can leave and go watch something much more interesting because I'm going to reply to like six or so comments from specific users, but feel free to stay if you're interested in what I have to say to these comments. So I'm going to be replying to, uh, if you're especially through these viewers, please, please stay. Uh, go get a freaking job, get pretend, shrinkin13, 2 bar eg, tigerald, uh, the Schaffer. Oh yeah. So, I'm gonna be going through this quite quick, I don't want to take too much of your guys' very important time, so I'm gonna speed read. You know, so bear with me here. Okay. Go get a freaking job. He starts us off with, on my comment to, no, I'm no Marines for the 90%. You're not fighting for anything here in the U.S. You're, one, you're Canadian, so you do not count. Two, you haven't a clue what the mil U.S. military is about, or the Canadian military. Three, nope, you're not the enemy. Just some sniveling little snot that has no idea about the real world. Well, in reply, go get a friggin' job. One, I have a job. Two, I'm not fighting for the U.S. specifically, I'm fighting for humankind because we're all enslaved, whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not. Ignorance is bliss, you don't know you're enslaved, you don't care if you're a slave. You know you're a slave, you're kinda pissed and you wanna tell people about it. Uh, Three, you're right, I'm not the enemy. I'm actually your brother. And no, I'm not a sniveling little snot, and I'm actually hyper aware of what's going on all around me and the entire world. I'm very informed for some reason. I don't know. So, you're right, I don't really know what the US military is about. But if, you, if you've seen my chart from the move, or the video about Satan, then you would you'd know that my personal view on kind of the military in an offhandish manner. All right, next one, Chipperton. Talking about 9-11 from some other user. Factual and inside job, huh? Lol. I suppose all the other evidence, contrary to that idea, is part of the conspiracy to get all of that oil from Iraq, right? Well, where is all that oil? And if the government went through that kind of trouble to fake the attacks, why wouldn't they plant WMDs in Iraq or Afghanistan? Why would they blow up a few more things since just to scare us more? There's a reason you people aren't the rich 1%. You're retarded. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, no. 9-11. Personally, I say 9-11 was an inside job. They wanted to go over there for a bunch of other things, and oil was the least of them. There's more fucking oil in, like, everywhere else in the world than Iraq. Oil wasn't the reason. Terrorists weren't really the reason. I mean, you look at the 9-11 evidence, the Twin Towers, if you look at all the evidence, the actual evidence, you can see a bunch of crazy, scary shit that makes you really wonder whether it was an inside job or not. Okay? Look into the evidence. Don't just say it was real. Because, you know, we were told to believe it was real. Okay, next one. Shrinkin. Please, oh please explain to me how sitting in a tent is going to change anything, talking about the, uh, the protest. I have asked a few of the Occupy Blank supporters and it's never explained. Either the question is, dodged or retreated as if the answer is self evident Trust me, it isn't. The platform is as follows. Corporations are greedy, laws protect corporations, the government is corrupt and ineffective. Now someone fix this or we will live in tents and make noise. Who are you asking to fix this? Okay, well in reply to that, uh, what is this? Uh, I have asked a few of the Occupy supporters and never explained. So, how is sitting in a tent going to change anything? Well, one, it's the gathering of intellectual minds to create an idea or create a series of ideas or plans for the future or uh, solutions to the problems that we are currently in and solutions for the future. It's not just sitting in a tent making noise saying, fix stuff, we're greedy, we want all your shit. It's actually a bunch of people who are both in America, they're unemployed, starving, also employed, they had their house stolen from them because they were given mortgages or loans and stuff based with no collateral or anything like that. So they were given fake loans and shit so the government could, or the banks could take from them anyway. And in Canada, there are people who are employed who don't believe in the government because they've been lied to, they've been mistreated and everything. And they're not just there for Canadians, they're there for Americans and the people all across the globe. We're here to try and find a solution to the world problems. What are the problems? One would be a severely corrupt government based on the government is bought out by corporations. Corporations control the world and kill the planet. They kill the people, they'll kill the planet, they don't, they don't care, they'll kill anything to make a profit. It's people is not the bottom lines. People is a means to an end to create more profit to put in the 1%'s pocket. That is what the 1% want. They don't care about anything else. The 99% is in response to that, saying we don't want to be slaves, we don't want communism, but we want equality, we want fairness, we want living within your means. Instead of that one guy driving 10 huge Hummers around, and burning out a fuck ton of fossil fuels, how about he has one vehicle, okay? And 10 other people can live in an actual house instead of living on the streets or starving. It's fairness, but it's not communism. It's more of an equality to the world. 
where everyone gets a house or everyone gets a roof, everyone gets to eat, everyone gets clean water, a place to, you know, whatever, all that stuff. It's not just communism. I, ca I can't state that clear enough. Not socialism, not communism. It's just human, humans being taken care of instead of dying. Uh, okay, basically, yes, corporations are greedy. That's, that's a given. Laws protect corporations. Yes, they protect corporations more than they protect citizens. Correct. The government is corrupt and ineffective. For the majority, yes, the government is not a democracy. A government is run by the few who own the corporations who buy out the government. Now, if someone fixes, so we will live in tents to make noise. Okay, no, we're not asking anybody to fix this. We're working on solutions to fix it ourselves or to propose further solutions to get rid of the corrupt officials and corrupt government model and bring in our new model for the people by the people. All right, next comment. Two bar EG. So you're call it, calling the military brainless. How smart is that? Honestly, man, why do you have so much pride? You haven't earned it, and you haven't, and you, you'd really stand up against the military? The Taliban has tried that as well. The difference is they were trained, organized, and have weapons. Now look at how they turned out. I don't know why you're talking shit, lol. <clears throat> I can't really read it with my glasses. So I'm not calling the military brainless. I'm calling the military brainwashed. If you go in the military, you believe what the military wants you to believe. You can't be a free thinker in the military. Can you? Can you be a free thinker in the military? Prove me wrong. Prove that you can be a free thinker, have your own ideas, your own thoughts, your own intellect, whatever, in the military. Prove me, please. And I'll eat a whole whack of humble pie. Second, why do I have so much pride? I don't really have a lot of pride. I have a lot of concerns for human beings, and I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to try to do my best to ease that suffering on other human beings' part. I don't just sit here and make videos. I make videos in my spare time when I'm not doing other important shit. You'd really stand up against the military? Yes, I would. I would stand up against the military if they were threatening human lives, if they were standing up for the wrong reasons against humankind. Standing up against protesters and possibly firing on them, which has been mentioned in the past that it could be a possibility, I would stand up against protester and say, no, I would stand up to protect someone else's freedom and I would die for it because freedom is the only thing that's really worth dying for on this planet right now. We can have anything else, but we don't have freedom. Freedom is very important to me and should be to everyone else. And that's why I do what I do. The Taliban, you can't fucking compare me to a terrorist because I'm a guy that lives in Canada who cares about the whole world. I'm not blowing shit up and terrorizing people. So, you're dumb. That's all I gotta say about that. Training and organized BS. Okay, Tijerald said, you can keep your socialism up north. If any Marines appear, it's only to kick your ass. The 60s are over and you missed it. Time to get a job and do something with your life. Maybe your mom will up your allowance if you paint your basement room. Paint your basement bedroom. <clears throat> okay. Left, right, middle. Middle is a, demo a Democrat, Ribble, and for Americans, and I guess a middle would be a, uh, what do we have? Liberal, liberal, would be a liberal here in Canada. I am neither a Democrat or a liberal, I guess. I am for f education paid for, for three years of education, because a smart society is a well, safe, intelligent, growing society, and I am up for paid for healthcare, so people aren't starving, or people aren't dying of sickness and shit because they don't have money, like in the United States. I am up for corporations and capitalism because, yay, capitalism, uh, everything else like communism has failed. Capitalism is required for us to grow. Personally, I think we should find a new model instead of capitalism, but whatever we have, capitalism will work with it. Capitalism is okay. Capitalism is good. We'll have that in our country. But capitalism is not involved in any way. There's no corporate money involved in the government at all. Government is publicly funded by the people through taxes, through program runs, whatever the hell else. You vote or else you don't vote, you get fined all that shit to make good money instead of being funded by corporations. Government by the people for the people. That is my view. My government. I'm not a socialist. I'm not a communist. I'm not a right-wing, left-wing fanatic. I'm right in the middle. I'm right where the government actually should freaking be, I think. But hey, that's me. And I have a job. I'm pissed I missed the 60s. And I don't live in my mother's basement. And everyone else that says I live in my mother's basement. Seriously. Seriously. And my tie-dye pants, yes. Yes, my mommy did make my tie-dye pants for me. But I motherfucking tied them, tie-dyed them myself. And she made them for me four years ago when I lived at home. The next comment. Now this was the Schaffer. This, this is a good one for you. And I'm actually, I'm going to read this first. Speed read it like a motherfucker. <clears throat> the Schaffer says to me. I'm thirsty. Who's being greedy here? To me, it looks like all those protesters out there are the greedy ones. They have had everything handed to them on a silver platter so far in their lives and had to work for almost none of it. Loans, credit, etc. There are forms of immediate, immediate gratification. Now they're protesting and demanding even more from people who have worked hard for their money and have to, and to be where they are today? Sounds like you're contradicting yourself to me. Wow, don't tell me you've gone and rewritten history now too. Tell me all the good things the elite have done for us in this whole fucking planet. 
By elite, I assume you mean the upper class. So for a start, they've established almost every major industry in the world today. Look around you. Your computer, elite manufactured. Your phone, same thing. Hell, even your fucking tie-dyed t-shirt was probably manufactured by an elite founded company. My tie-dyed t-shirt was hemp. Okay? Made by a hippie. <clears throat> the point is, all these elite people started somewhere. Bill Gates wasn't born rich. Michael Dell wasn't born rich. They both started as average, maybe less than average kids. But they did these things as morons. But they did one thing these morons of Wall Street didn't. They worked, and they didn't give up. Even when the times were tough, then they persevered. Now, how would you like it if you saved up your entire life to buy a nice house, and then your neighbors decided that your house was too good for you, and they took your house, sold it, and split the profits? You're getting nothing more than what you started with a lifetime ago. Not fair, right? I don't know what he means by that last bit. But, you know what? He's right. If we didn't have the elite, the elite, the upper class, okay, if we didn't have the upper class that founded these corporations, we, correct, wouldn't be where we are today. Personally, I think we'd be in a hell of a lot better situation because people like, what was it, Rothefeller or whatever, or Goodchild, that, like, blew down free energy, Nikola Tesla's free energy, and brought in uh, the oil, which pretty much gave us everything we have today, like this phone, my computer, everything is silicon-based, whatever, it all comes from oil. The plastic from this, which I don't know why I'm not drinking out of a cup, was all oil. Corporations, corporations are good for us, okay? The thing is, it's not the fucking 80s anymore, where you can go and build a huge company out of your garage. You want to know why? Because there's like four major companies in the world that control all the little companies, and they fucking control everything. It's hard to just spring up with a business, or to get a job, or to create a job, and just start doing something like that. It's not that easy anymore. It's not the 80s. You don't have the ability to do that. I can't create, no matter how intelligent I am, unless I created a super new innovative technology in my garage, then I'd kind of be screwed if I tried to do something like that. If that makes sense, what I was trying to get at, I'm sure you understand. Okay, but for the most part, Schaffer is somewhat right. But the bank, you know, was giving out fake loans, or not fake loans, they were paying out money to people with no, uh, no income or no way to pay it back or anything, and therefore creating like a huge deficit problem and sucking people in and stealing from the poor to feed the rich, all that bullshit. Personally, I'd like a Robin Hood tax. Tax 1% on all the marketing trading, like the Wall Street free market trade in the world, and use that to fund the government. Or hey, you know, maybe feed starving kids or build more schools. So anyway, that's comments for blah 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 today. I'm going to be doing a weekly segment every Friday. I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but it's going to be I'm going to take some of the most interesting, hateful, loving comments and I'm going to respond to them. Because why not? Apparently I don't do anything else in my mom's basement, so I might as well make videos. I'll see you guys later. I'm going protesting tomorrow. Because first you protest, and then you resist. First step. Still in stage one. So it's, it's, a, it's a multiple step program. Peace, people.